We are not in the time of storytelling. We are in the time of power. After today and this month, you will not walk empty anymore. God will make you a container of power. This is not the time to murmur. It's not the time to cry. It's not the time to give up. It's the time to pray some more. There is a day when the books will be visited. On the last day, what will help you enter heaven is what is written on the book. You think nobody is seeing you. You are wasting time. I can to tell you, the God we serve is a God of restoration. The God we serve is a mighty God. on your side. Power on your side. Glory is on your side. Let's your way shall be. And oh me, we worship you, our God. You are worthy to be praised. Oh, you are our and oh me. Pray the Holy Ghost for a few minutes. Celebrate your God and your maker. Celebrate your God and your maker. Celebrate Him this morning. Celebrate Jesus this morning. Oh, 
Let's take if there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. Exodus chapter 3, verse 21. Exodus, Exodus. Exodus 3, 21. Said, and I will give these people favor. Somebody shout favor. Favor. I can't hear you. Somebody say, Lord, give me favor. Lord, give me favor. Say it like you mean it. Say, Lord, give me favor. Lord, give me favor. I can't hear you where somebody shout, Lord, give me favor. Lord, give he said, and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Somebody shall, Lord, give me favor. Open your mouth in a few minutes and cry to God. Lord, give me favor. Give me favor. Give me favor. This is like Psalm 23. He said, for thou furnish a table for me, even in the presence of my enemies. He said, I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Lord, give me favor. Lord, give me favor. Let me find favor before me. Lord, give me favor. An open mouth is an open destiny. Lord, give me favor. Lord, give me favor. In the name of Jesus. Listen, listen, listen. He said, listen, when you understand Psalm 23, he said, for thou furnish a table for me even in the presence of my enemies. Am I speaking here? In Exodus 3, 21, he said, and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. If you must not, I'm going to take about two, three prayer points from this dimension. But the last one, the cure for the last one is this one. Am I speaking to somebody here? If you must not go empty, then you need favor. He said that we give these people favor before the Egyptians. The Egyptians were their oppressors. These were likened to their enemies and God gave them favor with their enemies. When you find favor with enemies, it means you have over enjoyed favor with friends. Somebody didn't hear what I'm saying. I decree upon someone here today. The Lord will give you favor before men. The Lord will give you favor before your enemies. He said, if the ways of a man pleases his God, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. I decree the Lord will give you favor before men. He will give you favor before children. He will give you favor before women. God will give you favor this week. God will give you favor this month. God will give you favor this year. If you believe in shout, Lord, give me favor in the sight of men. Give me favor before men. Open your mouth, clap your hands in prayers. Lord, give me favor. In the name of Jesus. I have discovered that you can be anointed and still be favored and still lack favor. 
I remember this prayer I'm making you pray is a prayer I've prayed and I've seen it a change in my favor life. I remember one time I got a call from a, a friend's friend consigning a platform I have an opportunity to. And then he said, I want to give my pastor his coming to Lagos. I want to take care of my pastor. I want you to help me use your opportunity to secure this, this, this. So I did it. The pastor stayed for about three nights. And then he said, open the account for anything he so desires. So the pastor stayed for three days, did himself, and the bill was very good. Very, very good. And then the young man, just with a transfer, he cleared the bill. And then the Lord said to me, while I was praying, he said, when I give you favor before men, you don't struggle to settle things. Before now, every cloth I wear, I pay for. People began to like, I want to give you suit. I want to take care of your wardrobe. I want to do this. I want to do this. It was a level Am I speaking to somebody here? I prophesy to someone here today. Oh, ah. God will give you favor with men. Yeah. I said God will give you favor with men. Yeah. The Bible says and Jesus found favor with God and with men. You can find favor with God and you, you are frustrated by men. But after today, God will give you favor with men. Yeah. I said men will be Petition to favor you. Your matter will be sweet to the ear of the king. If you believe it, shout, I receive it. Number two, lift your voice. Say, My father, my maker. As I pray now, Lord, let this face come to pass in a hurry. Let this face come to pass in a hurry. Open your mouth and cry out to God. He said, and it came to pass. Lord, let this face come to pass in the hope. Let this face. Lord, let this face. In the hurry, he said, and it came to pass, and it came to pass. Whatever came to your life, Lord, let this face come to pass in the hurry. In the name of Jesus. Some of us, we are in a good face of our life. Let it come to pass. There's a better face. Some of you are enjoying better face. Let it come to pass. There's a best face. For some of us, this face is terrible. It should come to pass in a hurry. Am I speaking to someone here? Yes, sir. Papa can't tell you. No, he said, how long? How long? How long? I prophesy Amen. upon someone here today whose amen is the loudest. As a matter of urgency, this face is coming to pass. Yeah. At the end, face of your life you will not go empty-handed I said you will not go empty-handed you are coming out with an evidence to show you are coming out with wisdom you are coming out with knowledge you are coming out with tangible testimony I prophesy it's coming to pass this face is coming to pass it will pass in your favor you will not live empty-handed you will not go empty handed. God will honor you. He will settle you. If you believe in shout, yes. Lift your voice. I will not go empty handed. I will not go empty handed. It says, shall come to pass. When you go, you shall not go empty. You will not go empty. You will not go empty. This month will not end. You empty. I say you will not go empty. I say you will not go empty. The empty.
emptier will not have a hold on your destiny. The emptier will not have a hold on your destiny. If your women is better, it will happen in a hurry. The emptier will not have a hold on your destiny. Let that amen sound like thunder. Somebody shout, I hear. Say it like you mean it, say I hear. In Jesus' precious name. Let that amen be better here. Take your seat if you have one. Hallelujah. Are you blessed to be in the house again? Open your Bible to Psalm 11 verse 3. And I will also do a quick look at in Hebrews 11 verse 10. Psalm 11 verse 3. Can we read it together? One to go. He said, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 10, the Bible told us, it said, for he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is God. In Acts chapter 16, as it were, the Bible told us that Paul and Silas, after an act of conspiracy, they were kept in prison. And the Paul and Silas at midnight began to roar and they began to praise and to pray. And then it got to a point where heaven's attention was moved in their direction. If your attention must end, then you must get heaven's attention. Am I speaking to someone here? Anytime you get hold of heaven's attention, you know that your attention is about to be addressed. Am I speaking to someone here? In the Bible told me, it said concerning Noah, it said your sacrifice has come to heaven like a sweet smelling of all. That heaven's attention put an end to earthly tension. The Bible told me that God said concerning Solomon, he said, yours, he said the speech pleased him. Anytime heaven's attention is gotten, at attention is checked. I prophesy over the tensions in your family, over the tension in your finances, by the attention of heaven, that tension is coming to an end. I said the tension is coming to an end. Someone is about to dance out of the problem. You are coming out of the fire. You are coming out with a testimony. At the end of this encounter, you will know that we don't serve a dead God. That we serve a mighty God. Who is the same yesterday? Who is the same today? Who is the same forever? That when God says yes, no man can say no. God is on your side. Power on your side. If you believe in shout, yes, 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 yes. Hear me well. And about say, and a vision appeared to Paul in the night. If you read it further, the Bible said they prayed, and the foundations of the prison shook. And then the result of the foundation that was at shaking was what? Open door. Somebody shall open door. Until you address your foundation. There are dimensions you can never access. Hear me well. Let nobody deceive you. That there are no foundations. There are foundations. In fact the height of a structure. Is directly connected to the depth of a foundation. Shallow foundation can't produce high rise building. It is the attention. You pay to your foundation. That determines the height you will hit in life. He said for we grow. Like the cedar in Lebanon and flourish like the palm tree. Well, what how does the cedar in Lebanon grow? It grows downward before it comes upward. If you must flourish like the palm tree, then you must grow like the cedar in Lebanon. You must have a hold on your foot. Listen to me. There will be a question mark on your
your fruit if you don't deal with your root your root is your foundation your fruit is your destiny i came to talk to someone anyone in your foundational line that is sponsoring afflictions on your life if i hear your amen somebody aspires now I said that a man is better someone aspires now take your seat how to overcome foundational battles how somebody shout how how to overcome foundational battles hear me why you can be slave and stay enslaved when people tell you once saved always saved it's a frustration from the pit of hell. You can be saved and still what? Enslaved. Follow me closely. Salvation is not an automatic license to liberation. Galatians said as long as the hair is a child, it differeth not from a slave. Am I even if it's the Lord of them all? Who is a child? A child is someone who has it but does not know. And when you don't know it, you suffer for it. Oh, somebody didn't hear what I said. He said, for the truth you know will make you free. He said, my people are gone into captivity for lack of knowledge. Another point you must take from me today is that, hear me well, if you, you can know it, if you refuse to apply it, you will keep suffering from it. So application is a key in the school of liberation. Application. Am I talking to someone here? Naaman had an encounter. Second Kings chapter 5. Had an encounter. Had an instruction. But was still leprous. It was until Naaman applied the instruction. That his leprosy came to an end. Am I speaking to someone here? It's not enough to be connected to grace. Do you obey grace? Hello church. How to overcome foundational battles every day we are faced with the messages of foundation you need to pray you need to fast you need to you need to you need to deal with foundations you need to address foundations there are foundational battles no doubt that's why the bible told us if the foundation be destroyed what shall the righteous do it didn't say what shall the unrighteous he said what shall the righteous do if the foundation be destroyed the righteous is in problem but the bible told us in hebrews that abraham said i'm looking for a city whose builder and maker is god that means there is a foundation to be destroyed and there is a foundation to build upon am i talking to somebody no other foundation other than the one that has been laid by jesus i came to church the reason why why you suffer foundational battles is that your structure is in your father's land is still on your father's foundation am i talking that's why for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and be cleave it's time to be born of god if you are born by your father you will be plagued by what plague your father but if you are born of god you will enjoy what god enjoys is somebody hearing me today if you must overcome foundational battles my number one point is that you must be genuinely born again somebody shout number one be born again indeed somebody say be born again indeed say it where we have many persons who are born again in words and they are not born again indeed. Your liberation from family foundations is your genuine, genuine connection to divine foundation. Be born again indeed. John 3.3, 3, Jesus speaking the other day. Still speaking. He said to Nicodemus, a rabbi, who came to him he said jesus answered and said unto him verily verily i say unto thee except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of god except a man or a woman be born again 
Because we have too many Bible scholars who will walk out of church and say, Reverend said, except a man, not a woman. Forgetting that Paul said, we are neither male nor female. If I say man, you are a man on skirt or a man on trouser. Somebody didn't hear what I'm saying. On the last day when the trumpet shall sound, the corruptible shall become incorruptible. The mortar shall become immortal. So shall we be caught up to meet him in the air. So it's not about male, female. It's about what I'm talking about. Am I speaking to someone here? The question I came to ask is you must how to overcome foundational battles is that number one, you must be born again indeed. We are not talking about people who are Christians for namesake or for church sake. They are Christians for Christ's sake. There are those who are Christians for namesake and there are those who are Christians by namesake. Why some are Christians by church sake? That you go to church does not make you a Christian. That they call you Christian does not make you a Christian. Have you not seen a very poor person they call prosperity? He's broke. Yes, his name is Prosperous. Somebody didn't hear what I'm saying. So I came to talk to us who is a Christian indeed. A Christian indeed is somebody who is, who is a Christian for Christ's sake. Not for church's sake. Some of us, we are believers on Sunday. And heavy demons on Friday. The things you do on Friday, if you were in Catholic church, Reverend Father would be complaining. Because on Saturday, you go again for confession. One day, Reverend Father will react. You know they stop. I came to talk to somebody here. Foundational battles are real. What stopped your father can stop you. What stopped your mother can stop you. What frustrated your elder sister can frustrate you. If you don't take to note certain things you must do. Listen to me. If you must end foundational battles, then a lifestyle must be developed. Lifestyle, lifestyle. 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 Sometime last week I was invited. A, a particular company was celebrating their one year anniversary. And um, it, it, um, they invited a few persons. It was like a cocktail. So I was there. Uh, I was invited. I was so glad because the list was so short and I'm among the shortness of the list. And then we stood. I met some men. And then that's when I tweeted. I said, I think it's high time to start meeting the brains behind the things we celebrate. Because I met brains. I met men who were telling me that this thing you are celebrating, I'm the brain behind it. I met men. And it dawned on me that this kind of opportunity does not make you a consumer. It makes you a producer. So we got talking. And then somehow, I discovered that one very good looking, pretty chocolate lady got me as her assignment. As an old mafia, you know when mafiarism is taking place around you. Be not ignorant of this very thing. Or else you become a casualty of the devil. I just discovered that I became her attention. She kept coming and coming and coming. And said she initiated some discussion. She will leave to do what she does and come back again. She want to make sure I eat what I don't want to eat. Somebody, I don't know if I'm talking. So I gave her a friendship dimension. And then why I discovered that after a while in the occasion, and the occasion has gone far, when men begin to disappear with men, you know what I'm saying? There's a point of the occasion when people start disappearing. I've been there before. That's where you just discover that sister A is nowhere to be found and brother B has disappeared. At that junction, she was busy and I disappeared. <laughs> I disappear. You should know when they define you. It's called the spirit of discernment. So don't trivialize what has come to naked you. Stop praying when you should take off. 
When Potiphar's wife is out for you, you don't pray her out. You leave garment. Go to prison for Christ's sake than for them to bab your head. Am I speaking to someone here? Listen to me. Nothing keeps you afloat like being sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Be born again indeed Church, if you said the way you want some soul said somebody know they find you you they lie somebody is on your case in english they call it crush on your case at times you are your problem oh? because you know so you started making merchandise of the person's emotions until you got to a junction where you can no longer say no. And then you say the devil is after. It's not devil. Be born again. Indeed. I came to talk to us. There are battles on the bloodline. There are contending forces everywhere. We are in a world of wickedness. Where you don't have to be wicked for wickedness to go after you. Jesus came to planet Earth. What a good man he was. And he is. And yet the same word went after him until they killed him. Until he submitted himself to die. Hear me where? There is someone who is angry that you are alive. There are Amans. Mordecai didn't do anything to Aman. But Aman made a vow. That he will not rest until he closed Mordecai's case. Imagine a man's gallow being prepared in the house. Mordecai, a man had a conspired meeting with his wife and his friends. And they prepared a gallow for Mordecai. Mordecai was a gate man. A man was a palace man. What will a palace guy be looking for in a gate man? It's not the level you are, it's what you carry. What is strengthening people is not your status today. It's your content. They have seen beyond the ordinary that there's something about you that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, that has not entered the hearts of men. But I came to church humbly under God and under grace to agree with you that your enemies will not succeed. The agenda will not manifest in your life. If the women is better, it will happen faster. Listen. If you want to overcome foundational battles, be born again indeed. Indeed. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 5, verse 4, then 5. Listen to me. Be born again indeed. 1 John 5, 4 and 5. It says, for whatsoever is born of God, overcometh the world. Somebody shall whatsoever. This is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our what? Our faith. Then verse 5 says, who is it that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. If you must overcome foundational battles, then you must be born of God. Be born of God. Let God born you. Am I speaking to somebody here? Thank God for the testimony of my beloved president. With all due respect, when I was in the devil's camp, I was a full-time satanic staff. I've told you here before he came. Thank God you heard it from him. I told you here, Satan regretted losing me because I was too loyal to satanic agendas. No. If I open my mouth to tell you, I grew on campus confraternity to a point of a national hitman that battles that consigns under schools, I was hired to be a part. Let's not talk about some things. So when I left, I gave him that the boys conspired together. And they said, they don't sleep on bicycle here. Let them do something to me. And the bigger boys told them. And said, leave him alone. If he says he has changed, he has changed. Because when he was with us, he was totally with us. Can I talk to you? The reason why people are doubting you is because you don't have a stand. You don't have a stand. You don't have a stand. If I'm for you, you know. The day I leave you, you will know. And it's hard for me to leave you. Because I die with what I believe in. Except to the extreme. 
I came to talk to somebody. If you are saved, be saved indeed. See, if you be Christian, make them know so you be Christian. Not they use newspaper, wrap your Bible. Be a Christian indeed. Let it be said to in God. Let them pronounce it that this one is of God. I became a Christian from campus. 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 I was a SUG president. I was still a pastor, an evangelist. Where you have all kinds of. It was on campus. I told myself today, if you talk, say you want to begin chop. You go chop till you die, they chop. Because every day you they see the beautiful ones that are not yet born on campus. Every day you are seeing them. Which one you go? See, be a Christian. Christian in the morning, Christian in the afternoon, Christian in the night, Christian in church, and Christian everywhere. Be a Christian. My prayers, by the grace of God, I'm enjoying resort because I am on God's side. I don't need you to tell me, I know say I'll be Christian. Forget. No matter what you say, I know I'll be Christian. Me? You did my secret life? You are not pure until you have what it takes to be unpure. Sin is as cheap as walking into a supermarket. If you can afford it, you can get it. So when you see men who has what it takes and they refuse to take, brother, it's because they have made up their mind for what they believe, which is God. If you, are, if you want to be Christian, be Christian. Enough of all this double life. Don't tire me. Foundations, they have a hold on a tongue-speaking unrighteous Christian. You can be speaking in tongues. You have accepted Christ. Foundation is still playing with you. There are attitudes that guarantee some things. Lord, help me. Take your seat. You are choking me. I said number one, be what? Be born again indeed. Be a Christian. Let your church members come to your office. And someone will act. act, act, act Acknowledge the fact that you are a Christian. All kinds of bad deeds. Now there your hand there. Number two. How to overcome foundational battles. You must walk in God's status. Walk in God's status. Genesis chapter 17 verse 1. Walk in God's status. He said to Abraham. He said walk before me and said when Abraham was 90 years old and nine the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him I am the almighty God walk before me and be thou perfect walk before me Romans 8 14 said as many that are led by the spirit of God they are the sons of God listen to me when you leave God's leading you will suffer Satan's attack he said, for when you break the edge, the serpent will bite. Walk by God's word and you will rule your word. Walk by God's word. Walk by God's word and you will rule your word. Am I speaking to somebody here? I've seen people use English to justify lies. In English. Do you know grammar can justify lies? Grammar. So justify lies. Lie is lie. Jesus said, let your name be near and your ye be ye. Lie is lie. Lie is lie. One day I was taken out on one of my business outings and we got to a shopping complex. And then the lady who was designated to take me out, we got there. And when I came, all the persons in the place began to greet me specially. And they asked her a question, is that your boss? And she said, yes. And they were giving me special accolade according to David and they gave me special college and I took it I took it I said, ah, boss we have been looking for you ah we say they started talking like see if landlord don't show me I was taking it it was very good ah, man. 
the honor that day from tenant was heavy so while we were going the spirit of the lord said to me it was like a bulala he said are you the landlord i was quiet so luckily the I followed the lady. I said, take me back to those people. I met them. I said, I know the landlord. I came for his special. <laughs> and as soon as I said it, a body left me. A body. Some of us have slain our heart with hot oil. Out iron. Our conscience is dead. You don't hear God. Am I speaking to somebody here? Be led by the Spirit. If you must overcome, see, God can't lead you and foundation will hold you. It's not possible. It's not possible. Number three, understand, hear me well. If you must overcome foundational battles, you must understand family foundational history. Understand family foundational history. student of family history is to suffer telling family stories. What did your father go through? Why did he go through it? In Acts chapter 5 from verse 1, if you read it down, what kid Ananias killed Sapphira? Because Sapphira had no knowledge of what did kid Ananias. Say to me, you must have knowledge of family history. Have a knowledge. Have a knowledge. I heard the story of a great man of God. Great man of God. A prayer man. Mightily anointed in the prophetic. But that man is going through family battles. He did his best to fight it. The thing left him and came through his wife. Family battles. If you don't know family history, then you suffer what others suffer. You must have a knowledge. Why do I need a knowledge of family history? So you can take it to the place of prayers. You can know the step to take. Your father cannot be a heavy polygamist. And then everything around you is women. Everything. Everything. A particular pastor, Papa told us, walk afflicted his family's drink 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 he opened ministry i call it rivers of life water of life bible church water of life papa say change that name now the two will kill your father now they lead you against him. you must understand family history family history a young man cannot be found in gambling because what grounded his father was gambling no matter how you colorize it you can't find certain people there because they understand what stopped others. Listen to me. Everybody can do it and go free. As soon as you come, something will hold you. It's nothing else. It's your foundation that is speaking. That's why you must not live like others. You don't know what is following them that is not following you. Am I talking to somebody here? There are certain persons eh? I was talking to a young man. I said, do you remember the covenant your mother entered? I said, everybody can do Yahoo and go free. If you enter, they will catch you. Because your mother has entered the covenant against any negative way of success. Oh, somebody didn't hear what I'm saying. When your mother took you to the altar and said, this is my beginning. Your only greatness will be God. That you want to great from another God. You go to fail. To be a bad student of family histories. To grow, tell family stories. If you must overcome foundational battles. No way to stop others. No. Church, I know. I know. There are certain battles that come my way. I know. I know where they are coming from. I know. You can't behave like your father and not end like your father. Say, I told you, it's not a cause. It's a reality of life. You saw and then you are possessing the character. Nothing they happen. Do you know me? Do you know who I was and I am? Who are you? Now pattern they sponsor you so. Now foundation they push you. I know my right. You go soon lose your right hand. 
I know my right. I know my right. I know my right. I cannot be oppressed. Can I talk to you? Some people pushing you are regretting. They wish they can rewrite what they have missed. And they don't want to tell you the pains they have. They just tell you nothing they happen. Something they happen. Something they happen. Am I speaking today? First Kings chapter 19 verse 4. Elijah cried out and said, Oh God, take my life. Take his life. He said, for he's not better than his father. For Elijah to be telling you he's not better than his father means he knows his father, father's story. He knows his father's story. He knows his father's story. This is a man that called down fire. He ran and sat under a juniper tree and was crying. Now wait till stop my papa and don't come so. This one um, is not better than his father. It's not better than his father. Am I speaking to someone here? You will be better than your fathers. Yeah. Number four. If you must overcome foundational battles, learn to avoid. Tell your neighbor, say learn to avoid. Proverbs 31 verse 3. Proverbs 31 verse 3. Thank you, my father. He said, give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to dash which destroyed kings. Who is a king? A king is a made man. So you can be made and be destroyed. You must understand how to avoid what destroy kings. Kings can be destroyed. You see this glory you have entered. It can be destroyed if you lack understanding of family history. You must learn to avoid. Not be everything way sweet that they chop. Some they leave to stomach upset. Not everything. Some can lead to stomach upset. Not everything. Not everything. If foundation must not catch up with you, then you must learn to avoid some things. There are places you can't find me it's a conscious act. Since I gave my life to Christ on campus till today, to the glory of God alone. Why? There are places you can't find me. You see where I just told you I escaped? For since I gave my life to Christ, I avoided such places. The reason I enter such places now is because I believe I have matured, number one. Number two, by the next phase, for me to shift my business goal post, I need to go to some areas. Where opportunities will play out themselves for the next phase. That's why I'm there. But I'm entering them matured. I have an understanding. I have the spirit of discernment. Nobody say you born again today. Tomorrow you will go preach to Delilah. We go soon look for you. They don't let you to Christ today. Pray the Lord's prayer in church on Sunday. In the name of Jesus, I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth. On Wednesday. You tell them, say you are going for evangelism. Who you go preach to? That girl. The one where you get your mumu body. And when you go preach to them, you go in house. Now sit down for outside. Now so let you just start. You preach, preach, preach until you tell you, say, would you take water? Now what are you drink? Oh. The people who are going for evangelism, where is brother? They are looking for brother. They are confused. Brother, don't go house. No, brother, don't shop for bidding fruit. <laughs> brother, we are out You go, I, I heard thy voice. <laughs> and I hid myself. That they mature before they dance or kind dance. Open a dance, not before children. And for adult. That they grow before they go some kind area. This Z where you they carry, one do evangelist for some kind area. He goes soon. Catch up with you. I know what I'm saying. If you don't want to fulfill foundation, hello, Jesus, the Bible says, he sent them two by two. You know why? Well. For safety. God bless you, sir. Safety. For safety. Am I speaking to somebody? There's another one coming. I've made up my mind. If I'm going out, I will carry somebody. That one will let me go and not try him again. Someone should bear witness. Am I talking here? I saw, I saw just, 
the, that place they don't talk they only exchange complimentary card hello i greet you i'm this 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 that's my card oh boy me pack card full pocket me no see card bring now they don't know me say i never enter so kind of level we still be like local champion one guy card way give me i call printer when printer tell me money they take printer i wear i wear i ask myself how you go spend that kind of money for complimentary card now the kind of business whether they do they detain complimentary card huh? yes they know you can't discard it yes sir lift your right hand to heaven say lord give me grace If you overcome foundation indeed there are dimensions you enter without struggle can you avoid can you say no when you should say no and say yes when you should say yes let me rush through the last ones number five be content somebody say be content contentment godliness with contentment the bible says what great game be content. Be happy with what you have now. What you don't have now, you don't need now. Stop trying to be me. It took me time to be me. Process your time to be you. Many of us are dying of heart attack because we are comparing ourselves with ourselves. And the Bible says we are not wise. In desperation, for greatness, many have allowed foundation to catch up with them. You heard the recitation that came from our spoken word, uh, Minister Godwin. He has made you understand there's time for everything. You can't be faithful to the cause of God and end up not fulfilling God's time. Not your time, God's time. Not your time. May I not arrive before my time? The Bible said Joseph was forgotten for two years. But as at when he arrived, vacancy was available and his lifting was established. God didn't lift you before time because he does not want you to continue as a houseboy. God's time is still the best. Be content. Church, wait till I get do me until you give me another one. I'm content. Another man thing, you know, they enter my eye. The highest thing your greatness can do to me, it will give me, it will motivate me. I can never be envious of a man. Because I know that time and chance happen to them all. What God does for one, he will do for another under the same frequency. Anybody can be great. It's a matter of time. Kelvin was my driver in Benin. He became my host in New York. Took care of me. I lived on his dollars. But years ago, he survived on my funeral. Life is turned by turn. A landlord in Lagos can, may not be a landlord in Port Harcourt. Because in Port Harcourt, you need somebody else to give you a house. If you know Gessens before today, you never reach to Gessens. There are men who own estate in Ukraine. Today are staying in shelter houses. We are not praying that affliction will make us render us homeless or useless. But my brother, it's time to humble yourself. Humble yourself. What do you have that you were not given? Humble yourself. Humble yourself. Don't tolerate arrogance around you. But be interested in people's greatness. Am I talking to somebody? I bought a small car. Went to fix the car. Fixed it very well. And I gave it to my driver. I said, be driving. Why? His house to my house is far. Every early morning, we use Okada to come and meet me to drive me. Or at times, I would drive my big car. I would carry him from his junction. I was the one thinking. I said, every day, Okada man will see you. They come down, enter Range Rover. Enter big motor. I said, this guy is prone to attack. Prone to attack. I say so, give him a car. So that nobody knows where he will come out, where they go. He will drive, he parks his car, drives my car. When we come back, park my car, drives his car. I 
I may not be perfect, but I get my heart. You can't do me wicked and go free. No, sir. That's why no matter what you do, Apostle Suleiman, you go the promoter. Yes. A man who sits down to think on your behalf, I go better for you. You the plot, I don't go yeah, yeah. Now the angel go cripple you. Before you start to the back to eat, change your mind. Be content. You know how happy I am, how fulfilled I am. How fulfilled. Imagine the young man that comes to drive me almost every Sunday. If that guy, if I once said that motto, that car, that car, I put them for sale. If to say I said the motto, waiting for carrying me to church today. <laughs> I'm not saying don't say when you should say, but don't say when you should sow. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Be content with what you have. It's a key. A foundation must not catch up with you. Because one of the things that make you put your hand in the things that have afflicted you is pressure. Pressure. What is it that causes pressure? It's living above your means. So your coat according to your material. Not even your size. If your material not rich suit, soak waistcoat. Somebody say, I hear her. Let me close with this. How to overcome foundation? You must be prayerful. And you must be sacrificial. I wrote here, I said there are two things that speaks in heaven. One of them is sacrifice. The second one is what? Prayers. Acts chapter 10 verse 4. It says your prayers and your good, your acts have reached me in heaven. What are the two things that reach heaven? Prayer and what? And act. Sacrifice. It said concerning, it said and when he looked on him, he was afraid. And said, what is it, Lord? And he said unto him, thy what? Talk to me. Thy prayers and thy hands have come up for me as a memorial. Take this from me today. There are two things. Among any other thing, a revelational preacher will show you. But two things where I know, like I know my name. Where they speak for heaven. Now sacrifice and prayers. Am I speaking to somebody here? When I use the word sacrifice, I'm talking about sacrifice. Service is in sacrifice. You serve sacrificially. You worship God sacrificially. Not selflessly. I mean selfishly. Selflessly. Every selfless act is likened to a sacrifice. Is it that you are selfless or you are selfish? Those are the two things. Until your service becomes a sacrifice, you have not started serving. You know what it takes to enter the rain just to go and clean church? That was inexcusable. Oh man. You get to a point and say the rains can't stop me from doing God's work. Hunger cannot stop me. Paul said, what shall separate us from the love of God? That's when you have entered sacrifice. If you still give excuses for service, for giving, then you are not sacrificial. Sacrifice is selfless. There are times I'm hungry, yet I'm happy. I preached a message in Abuja years ago, leading while bleeding. Sir, I finished taking care of people's need one of the days in church. And when I got back that week, my children brought a paper to remind me that I have not paid their school fees. Not because I was broke, but because your problem was more important to me or came to my head more than that one at a time. Can I talk to you here? Men who give, don't give because they have too much. They give because they are sacrificial in nature. They are interested in making things happen. They want to make things happen. They want to make somebody happy. That's why people give. If you check the, the balance of a man who just gave you help, you will ask yourself, from where did he get it from? Am I speaking to someone here? Imagine that young man giving out of his house rent and children's school fees. It's not wise to the ordinary man. But it's wisdom to a giver. It's more blessed to give.
them to receive two things it's hard to find them in one person prayerful and giving food it's difficult but when you find them a combination in one man such a man dread them never fight a man who is prayerful never fight a man who gives never fight a man who is a worshiper never fight a man because your battles will make you smaller like the house of Saul and make them bigger like the house of David I came to church to talk to you if you don't want to fulfill family battles a foundational battles then be a Christian indeed walk by the leadings of the spirit so you don't fulfill the desires of the flesh stand on your feet lift your two hands and open your mouth and cry out to God this moment cry out to God Lift your voice, lift your hands and worship Lift your right hand to heaven like a warrior. Open your mouth like an intercessor. Cry out. What stopped others will not stop me. Lord, give me wisdom to overcome patterns. Give me grace to overcome foundational battles. What stopped my fathers will not stop me. What stopped others will not stop me. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. I can hear your voice. Open your mouth. in the name of Jesus lift your voice one minute say Lord end my waiting Lord end, end my, my waiting. waiting somebody say father father end my waiting end my waiting end my waiting and my wisdom. Bible said they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, the mild up with wings as eagles. They run and not faint. In Genesis 21, God's visitation ended Sarah's waiting. Lord, hand my waiting. Lift your voice, say, Lord, hand my waiting. Lord, hand my waiting. Lord, end my waiting. Lord, end my waiting. Open your mouth and turn it in prayer. End my waiting. By your visitation. End my waiting. End my waiting. End my waiting. End my waiting. Lord, end my waiting. End my waiting. End my waiting. 
Lord, at my will, 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 and my The church is you. You are the church. No church without you. Omega Fire Ministries Lagos, the wealthy place, recognizes you in the church because you are the church we're looking forward to be with. Come worship with us at Plot 2 Stroke 3, Kudirat Abiola Way by First Bank Bus Stop, Oregu, Ikeja, Lagos. We, the church, need you. Because you matter. Welcome to church. To church.